Who seeks recognition? <laughs> uh, well, the gentlewoman has yielded back. Mr. Griffiths is recognized for five minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I think that uh, uh, ch chairman of our subcommittee, DeGette, is uh, right on some points and wrong on some points. Let's go over the facts. We've been trying to get COVID origins for some time. Here's, a, here's my notebook on all the letters that we've written, trying to get all the information just available in the U.S. We know the Chinese aren't going to give us everything. This amendment makes sense. And let me tell you why it makes sense, ladies and gentlemen. We have to put a hard stop on what's going on with gain of function, even if it's just close. And, of course, they say some say it is and some say it isn't. But they have humanized mice that they've been using on this research. And it looks like they have been doing some of that. And the problem is, as Ms. DeGette pointed out, we have to make sure that there are strict guidelines, and HHS came out with even more guidelines. But our investigation has shown that they weren't following those guidelines. And then when we give money to EcoHealth Alliance, they, they then farm out some of the research to the Wuhan Viral Vir Lab Virology Lab. They farm that out. And those folks were doing research that everybody agrees should have been doing in a safety level three lab. They were doing it all in a safety level two lab. And then we sit here scratching our heads wondering, huh, I wonder why there might have been an accident there. I wonder why somebody might have made a mistake. Well, I'll tell you where the mistake was made is that we weren't careful enough when we gave our federal dollars to uh, EcoHealth Alliance and maybe others but certainly to them, and didn't do the proper follow-up to make sure that they were following the safety protocols that Ms. get talked about. We weren't even doing what we were supposed to be doing in the past. So what makes us think that we're going to follow up in the future? Further, to, make, to add insult to injury, we not only found out this problem, NIH at one point said, oh, we're going to have to suspend you because you weren't doing everything right. You weren't giving us the data. And then we gave EcoHealth Alliance additional money on additional grant proposals. Folks, we need to put a pause on this right now. We need to have the hearings, and I appreciate Chairman to get, uh, wanting to get the hearings done and wanting to get to the bottom of this, get all the information we can for the American taxpayers and for the world to know. For the gentleman yield. But we need to hang on just a minute. But we need to make sure we have all of that information first. Put a pause on it now. Stop it now. Pass this amendment now. And then, then we can come back in and we can figure out exactly what we need to do. Now, I will tell you, I don't want to mislead anybody. I am really worried, and I have a different opinion than Ms. DeGette on gain of function. But there's a battle going on in the scientific community. Let's say stop, pause, and then let us, in this committee, the Committee of Jurisdiction, let us figure out what the right answers are. I'll be happy to yield for a question, but I don't want to yield my time. Um, I, I, I yield for a question to the gentleman. Not a question, I just some time. All right, I'll give you a minute or so. I might want to come back. Okay. Thank you. I, I think this is an important point. We're spending $3.5 trillion, the largest spending plan in United States history, but yet the other side of the aisle will not adopt an amendment that looks into the origin of COVID-19. The origin? We're going to spend all this money of taxpayer hard-earned money, and we can't even look into the origins of a pandemic? Are you kidding me? America, you need to realize what the majority party, the Democrats, are saying right here. They're saying that they don't want to spend money in the largest spending plan to look at something that shut your businesses down, quarantined you from your family and your loved ones in the nursing homes, possibly even by moving people into nursing homes caused the deaths of some of your loved ones. They don't want to look into the origin of that in Wuhan when, as Mr. Carter pointed succinctly out, that the evidence is there and you don't want to look at that? In the largest spending bill in American history? Give me a break. I yield back. I thank the gentleman, and I did want to hit a couple more points. First, let me be completely fair. Uh, Chairwoman DeGette of the Oversight Investigation Subcommittee has indicated we're going to have hearings. We need to get those scheduled, but she's been, she's been wanting these answers all along. It's not, a, it's not an unwillingness to do some investigation, although I think we need to move it along. 
but it is, it is a concern that I think we need to say, hit the brakes. You know, sometimes you just have to stop and catch your breath and say, wait a minute, let's stop right now. I'm not saying we couldn't move forward if we get everything right. This amendment, though, puts the brakes on those pathogens that have a pandemic potential. It doesn't affect everything, just those pathogens that have a pandemic potential. And when you're dealing with coronavirus, one of the reasons they were doing the research is it has a pandemic potential, and our agencies didn't follow up with the people they contracted with, didn't follow up on the, the folks who were the third-party providers, in this case, Wuhan Lab. And as a result, we, don't, we, we had a situation going. Whether it caused this problem or not is not the issue. But we do know we had a situation going where we were allowing unsafe practices to happen with American tax dollars in a foreign country, and we weren't doing our homework. And that falls to the responsibilities, as I think Ms. DeGitt would recognize, of the Oversight and Investigation Subcommittee of this committee. It's our jurisdiction. We're going to do it. I know that with her assurances that we will get it done. But we need to